Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is going to be a super quick and short uh, Walmart wax haul. So I picked up some things as I strolled down the wax aisle and here we are. So let's get into it. I got a couple of the older looking clammies. This is Marshmallow Krispies and this is Sugar Rush. It looks so good, that little Rice Krispie Treat. I don't even like Rice Krispies, but that looks so good. It's this really pretty orange color. And it really smells like Fruit Loops. Like a, or a, what is it called? Marshmallow Krispie. Yeah, it honestly smells like Fruit Loops and, or like a Fruity Pebbles. It smells very, very, very similar to the orange buttercream cupcake. I know that that has been kind of circulating online saying that they're the same scent. They're almost the exact same scent. So if you can't get one or the other, you really don't need both. But I did want to try this just to see if maybe on warm it smells different. But yeah, almost the same as orange buttercream cupcake. From memory, the orange buttercream cupcake, cupcake might have a slight bit more like creaminess to it. But other than that, it smells the same. I got a tried and true favorite. This is line dried linen. I'm obsessed with this laundry scent. I just love it. It is the most, oh, oh my God, I can smell from here. It is the best strong soapy type of laundry. Oh man, is it good. You really, I only need one cube to get the performance that I like and it is just blow you out the house strong. It really smells like wet, soapy sheets that you're pulling from the dryer and you're either going to put in the, I mean, you're pulling from the washer and you're either going to put them in the dryer or hang them up. Oh man, is it so good. I get so many compliments on this. Like back when people were allowed into my house, you know, at parties and whatnot, people would always say it's so clean. It smells amazing. This one and the Unstoppables Fresh wax melts. If you guys are having company, melt those because I've gotten so many compliments on this one and that fresh scent. So this is so good. Love that. A new to me scent is Sea Salted Sage from Better Homes and Gardens. I love this picture. I don't know why. It's just very like classy and sleek. I love the sage color. It's a pretty green. I have not tried this one yet. So I've smelled it through the mask, obviously. Oh, it looks kind of freaky. Looks all bubbly. Ooh, freaky. Um, ooh, but that is good. I don't even know how to quite describe this. I will tell you that it does not smell like a spice cabinet. So when I think of like thyme and rosemary, I always think that they're just going to smell so herbally and honestly, like I am pulling them out of my spice cabinet, but it's not. It is so pretty. It does smell like, like a slight saltiness, but it, it's just, it's a deeper type of scent. It's, it's relaxing to me. I, I can't even really describe it. It's so complex and just pretty. It's not too salty. It's not herbally. Man, I really like that. I really, really like that. I would even say maybe it's like a smidge fresh. It's just good. You got to give this a smell. If you're out and you see that in the wax aisle, just give that a smell because I I can't describe it. I don't know how to even begin to, <laughs> to describe it. It's just, it's a very, very nice different type of scent. I truly don't own anything like that. And for that to come from Walmart, yes, queen. All right, so I got some new labeled clams. This is from Better Homes and Gardens, Walking on Sunshine. And they do have their scent descriptions on there now. So this is red currant, mandarin, peach, amber, lily, white freesia, orange blossom, tonka bean, and vanilla. So I really like that they put the scent notes on there. I will say I'm going to kind of miss the big pretty picture. Um, I don't know. I just like those. But I do appreciate this set notes. This is a stunning yellow. And let's give her a smell throughout the, now that we're not masked up. Okay, so you definitely get the citrusy vibes, but peach does come through. A little bit more than I was expecting and hoping for, because I'm not, I don't really like peach at all. But you definitely get the ma uh, the mandarin and the red currant, a little bit of amber, that's pretty much it, and peach. Yeah, I don't get any lily, white freesia, tonka, or orange blossom. That's pretty good. I don't know if I ever purchased this because of that peach, but I do like the citrusy. This one is bubbly too. I wonder if something happened in transportation, like where they melted or something, or they got really hot. They are made in Arizona, so 
maybe it got a little hot, but yeah, this is okay. If you like peach, I'd give this one a try. If you like peach and citrus, definitely pick that one up. Then I picked up Sensational's Bubbles. This one is super cute and it says unbelievable freshness. This one's really cute with the bubbles in the sky and it's this gorgeous, like it's coming out blue on camera, but it's actually like a sea foamy tealy type. Oh, it is so pretty. Let's give this, they're kind of hard to get out now all of a sudden, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my, this. I think this is a dupe for the Unstoppables Fresh. No lie. I haven't smelled these since I bought them in the store, which was like a couple of weeks ago, honestly. Holy moly. Okay, I'm going to have to do a scent comparison because I have one cube left of the Unstoppables Fresh. I'm going to have to do a side-by-side -side comparison because I am telling you right now on cold, that is like sparking my memory of that wax melt. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Very, very, it honestly smells, like if you've used the Unstoppables Fresh, it smells like that. Oh my gosh, so yummy. It is definitely fresh, a laundry type of scent, but it's a different type of laundry. It's like a softer, um, more of like a fabric softener scent, let, let a, not so much like soap laundry detergent. Ugh, I love this. I use those Unstoppables in my clothes and they're the best. Yeah, this is great. I would totally repurchase that. Okay, if you guys have tried this and you have tried the Unstoppables, please let me know if you think that they're the same because I'm thinking that they're very, very, very close. All right, and I got one last thing, and this is in Sweet Sugared Lemon from Mainstays. These are the thinner, only cost like 97 cents, 93 cents, but I like them. You know, I got to give them credit. They perform actually pretty well in my 20 watt. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is really nice. Okay. This smells like sugared lemon. Truly, like a, a sugary rind of a lemon. This is really, really good. Holy cow. I love this. I'm gonna have to go back and get more of this. Especially if they had the matching candle. They didn't when I went, but Oh man, I really like this. So I think I would actually, I'd melt this in the kitchen and I'd probably put three cubes in, maybe four. If I buy another one, I'll put four in, but I'll try three and see how it goes. Man, this is really good lemon. I love that. That is super, super bright. It's very, very strong. And it really smells like a sugared lemon rind. That is super, super good. Big fan of that one. Okay, so that's it. Oh, yeah, and when is, I want to say about these. These do last. They're not incredibly long-lasting, but sometimes, as I was saying, they're not incredibly long-lasting, but sometimes I don't want something that's going to last, you know, hours and hours and hours on end. I like to change it up. I like to mix it up. So I actually really enjoy these. I will melt two in a hot plate warmer, and it gives me like three hours maybe, two to three hours of scent that's, you know, strong. And then I change it out and I move it, keep it moving. So I really, really like these. I totally, totally recommend these if you're blowing on a budget or if you just like to change out your wax and try a different scent. I love that they have matching candles with this. So if you're into that, that's a really nice aspect of it. So yeah, I enjoy the Mainstays line a lot. I, I gotta give them credit. They're pretty good. All right, so that is it, you guys. That is everything that I purchased from Walmart. And it's been quite a long time since I have ventured down there and got some goodies. So let me know down below if you guys have tried any of these things, if you love them. Do you love Walmart wax? Do you hate Walmart wax? I actually think the Walmart wax does um, really, really well in my Scentsy warmer. Believe it or not, two cubes in my Scentsy warmer usually performs very, very well. So I have to, uh, I have to always keep it on hand because sometimes my vendor wax, actually most of the time, my vendor wax doesn't throw in that warmer and then I'll throw, uh, you know, some, some retail wax in and it gives me the scent that I'm looking for. So yeah, let me know down below your thoughts. I would love to chat with you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.